Hello, everybody. This is Adam with the Game Machine. Bringing you more fighting game stuff. We had a little hiatus, a lot of stuff going on. Finding a little bit of time here to do some video game coverage for you. This is Yatagarasu, Attack on Cataclysm. You may have already seen my review. I'll make sure to link it down below. But yeah, this game was developed by three former SNK developers. Um, and... Yeah, this is their project. This is a PC-only game. There was some type of Vita game um, that was supposed to come out by a different publisher. I'm not for sure how that's all going to work out or pan out. Um, but yeah, if you just want a kind of quick synopsis of, of my thoughts of the game, minus the online, um, check that. I'm going to try to do the online here. The problem was when I did the review, I got the code early. And um, yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like... Just didn't really didn't really work out. Like there was like nobody online. Also, the online setup is really complicated. I think more complicated than it needs to be. Um, some people have figured it out, but, but I, I, me, and a lot of other people haven't. I think new media or somebody needs to put something out there, some kind of guide like how to get the online set up. But anyways, this is an anime intro. It's a badass intro, and I need to get the soundtrack. I got a code to claim the soundtrack, and I gotta do that. So, I'm recording this the week before it comes out, so this week's been a little kind of eh. Hopefully the week this comes out is much better for me. So if you're in the future, tell me if, if this week's much better. But yeah, let's get some games on. Two arcade modes. Could we have not changed one to story mode in arcade mode? I don't know. Anyways, we'll, we'll go over that. Um, yeah, there's here's where you go in and set up your buttons. For some reason the trigger buttons don't work. That needs to be fixed. Records, online records. Yeah, I'm not going to bore you that. Let's, let's try and see if the online actually works today. If there are people playing. Let's join a lobby. No comment. Oh well, hmm. Okay, good. Let's see how this, if this works or not. I can't do anything right now. Alright, I guess we're going to wait for something to happen. Wait, let's, let's try ranked. We'll, we'll wait in our K-Mo, that way you got something to do. We got different announcers. The new ones... Right here. This match is literally no pressure. No pressure, he says. And there's a little story quips in regular arcade mode. This is going by regular arcade mode. The second arcade mode has like some little more um, dialogue between it, but it's still basic text on the screen. Oh, Ultra David. And you can hear there's like some other Japanese announcer like commentating in the background. Perfect! Perfect! <laughs> wow, love it. Was that a button chat? <laughs> Ultra David, you're the best. I love you. Two perfects! Again! Double perfects! What the... Well, nah, I shouldn't say again. That usually never hardly happens. And what's supposed to happen is that, um... That someone, I think I did get something came up ranked, but ran really slowly for me. 
Another perfect! Holy crap. Yeah, that you win. was a button check or... Perfect. Well, for the opponent's sake, it was a... Round I hope this opponent remembers. Blame the buttons one round. Blame the two rounds. Blame the two rounds. Blame the two rounds and they scared. Here it comes. Set it up. Set it up. Oh yeah. Now this game, like, despite some of its menus and the way some of this stuff is set up, the gameplay itself at its core is freaking fun. I love it. Yeah, as far as you go, dog. 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 Ah, blah, 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 blah. Fight me! Fight me. I was hoping to get some online matches in, but it may not may or may not happen, but we'll try. I just don't want to keep people in the lobby forever. Like that makes a boring video. Obviously. Avi! I'm just gonna spam this, okay? I don't have it set on the easiest difficulty. This is default difficulty. I spammed it to death! Man. Yeah, in order to get the online to work, you have to open up some USB ports and like some other crazy stuff. In fact, when you start up the game, it starts out in Japanese, but if you don't have Japanese text, as far as um, languages installed on your computer, it's going to look like a bunch of gobbledygook. I don't know, like, the interface for, like, navigating everything is not great. Like, it really still makes it seem like it was, like, kind of like my first game. <laughs> and from people who have, like, made games before, it's a little disappointing. I don't know if it's because just PC arc just like developing games for a console compared to an actual PC is a little different because like a console, there's not a lot of extra like, you know, pretty much most of the stuff in the system's already set up for online and everything else. PCs, like I don't know if I'm explaining this right or if I'm saying this right, but it's like like it's its own application and it runs independently, I guess, of the PC, I don't know. I'm probably not saying it right, but I sound like an idiot. Idiot! Ooh! Anime schoolgirl! Must beat the shit out of her. Can someone tell me if the character I'm playing as is a boy or a girl? I keep thinking it's a girl because it sounds like it has a girl voice, but... Man, this is a little too easy. Nice. I do like using her, though. I mean, this character is pretty much the Ryu. I love. It does. It does have a mix of S and K with a little bit of Street Fighter, a little bit of Last Blade, a little bit of Kena Fighters. And that's gonna do it for that round. Got a mission. Must do the mission. <gasps> Crow! My arch rival, who has similar moves to me, but yet somehow is different. Ultra David, get me through this. 
The music, I will have to say, is really damn good. The art style and graphics look great. As I mentioned in the review, like, this needs to be in the Sega Saturn. This needs to be on a Dreamcast. This needs to be on a retro console. Like, this would fit perfectly on, like, a retro CD console. Heck, PS2, even. Why not? I would love to have this on a console, regardless. You know, if it's a modern console. Oh, grab. There's a type of uh, guard block break. Or guard break. I'm trying to remember what two of buttons it is. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's a parry system. Yeah, see what I did there? There's a heavy, uh, a light parry. I mean, a... Uh, a low and a hit high parry. You gotta get good at the timeout. See, I screwed up here. See, I messed up. I was trying to like do different things. <laughs> what happens when you're just playing around, not facing the CPU? But yeah, you see him there. I did a parry, and it just stuns him for a second. So that way, you can probably. Continue into something, but I'm terrible at these things, so I never know what to really do. See, like he just did it too. Got the dash to get in there. Well, that's supposed to be like a guard break, but instead I just used it to punch the shit out of him. Sorry if you keep hearing me get this thing. I'm just checking my phone. <laughs> Ooh! Chuzumaru! Do you know where the power of come from? This guy's like the Fei Long. Yeah, see, guard crush right there, so. I love finish him off with a guard crush, it's just like a sucker punch. There's probably a lot more advanced stuff in this game that I've not, like, deeply discovered and also I'm not really great at. Nice grab. Priority. He just grabbed like a rooster. Yes, yes. Spam. Fuck. I should have kept spamming. But I didn't want to be a scrub. Should have been a scrub. By the way, this game's already out now on Steam. Um, this did come out once before through a UK site called Digital Rice. Had a lot less characters. Um, a lot more basic. A lot harder to use than this is. This definitely is easy to play. It like works right out of the gate. Um, and there we go. Kick to the face. Yeah, I, I don't. I almost feel like they don't really have a lot of experience with PC. It's definitely one of the uh, Dojin or uh, I guess basically you could say it's like a. Japanese indie fighting game, but like they do a really good job. It's definitely like the game production itself doesn't feel cheap. The artwork looks great, though. Some of the menu stuff, some of the like this part here, I don't know. Don't think that looks that great. That background, 